fresh from the showcase here at Swiss Watch Expo, probably more ink has been spilled about the Patek Philippe Calatrava than any other watch. It's the longest running watch, I believe, at the Patek uh, factories. It came out way back in 1932. And at that time, it was a very modern watch. It combined these classic lines uh, designed by an English watchmaker named David Penny. And he was very much influenced by the Bauhaus movement. So, so the idea, the philosophy behind the watch is that the form follows the function. And we see this is just a, a watch that is the classic definition of a round wristwatch. And uh, the problem with it for many years though is you're a watch guy, you like a mechanical movement and you want to buy a nice watch for your girl or you're a woman and you like mechanical watches, you think that they're fascinating. And yet most of what's out there for women nowadays is quartz. Even at Patek Philippe, a full 50% of what they produce is quartz movements. And uh, so when you look down the list of what's possible for you as a woman uh, with a, a, a nice Patek Philippe wristwatch, you're going to look at things like the Nautilus, Aquanaut, the 24, the Gondola, the Golden Ellipse. Most of these are going to be quartz. So in 2006, Patek Philippe decided to remedy this. They came out with this watch. Uh, which is a 33 millimeter. At the time, the first one that came out um, was powered by the 215 hand, power, hand wound mechanical movement. It's certainly one of the classic movements in the Patek Philippe line. It's just a hair over two millimeters thick. And as always, you get the beautiful waves of Geneva, the beveled edges of the plates. You get the polished screw heads. Uh, all of the things that have made these movements uh, coveted within uh, all of the, the men's watch lines. Um, and yet they weren't available for women. So this 33 millimeter case came out in 2006. In 2009, they added this version. Uh, the one we're looking at here is the 4897R, which is a rose gold watch with a brown dial. Patek Philippe calls it a chocolate brown. It's just delicious looking. It has a, a dial that is uh, guilloched and concentric circles. Uh, absolutely beautiful, and when you see it, the, how the light plays with it, uh, it really catches the light in a beautiful way. You can see the hands there, Dauphin hands that are sandblasted on one side and uh, high polish on the other to increase legibility. The markers are these beautiful uh, baton markers that are uh, tapered. One of the things that's really striking about this watch, of course, is the diamond bezel. There are 72 diamonds weighing almost a half carat, but here's one of the things that when people want to know what the difference is between Patek Philippe and other watch companies, uh, according to the company, they only use internally flawless diamonds. Uh, I don't know any other company that does that, even Cartier, Van Cleef & Arpels, uh, none of the uh, Chopard or uh, any of the, the other high-end jewelers, Bulgari, none of them use internally flawless diamonds, but these are just stunning. They're not a real thick diamond bezel, so it's not one of these watches that looks like it's just dripping with diamonds. It's just enough. Uh, I could see a woman wearing this with a business suit as an everyday watch. Uh, she would definitely look powerful um, and yet very classy and refined. Elegant, I guess, is the best word that comes to mind for this watch. One of the things that makes the watch wearable every day is its thinness that comes from the movement. It adds probably an extra millimeter of thickness that the Exhibition case back shows off that beautiful movement. Again, we see all of the um, uh, you know, sunburst uh, polished wheels, the chamfered edges, the polished screws, the ways of Geneva, the Patek Philippe seal, all the things that make this watch uh, a, a stunning piece of watchmaking, but it's also a beautiful piece of jewelry. And uh, with the brown strap, the brown dial, the offset of the, the whiteness of the diamonds against the brown, it's such a beautiful contrast that I think it would be a, a great choice for any woman who is a fan of the mechanical watch, but finds their choices limited with other lines within Patek Philippe and certainly other watchmakers, uh, that this 33 millimeter hand wound mechanical one was probably going to be the very best choice. What we have here in stock today at Swiss Watch Expo could be gone by the time you're seeing this video. Give us a call. Uh, it's an unworn 2017 model, never been worn. Everything about it is absolutely pristine. Comes with the full box, uh, papers, booklets, all the, the full set of everything that you would expect. And uh, it's available at a huge discount off of the full retail price. So uh, click the, the like, click the subscribe, get our updates. 
see our YouTube channel, but um, give us a call and see what we have in stock for your lady or for yourself if you're shopping for yourself as uh, uh, someone who's a fan of the mechanical watch but would like a little bit of sparkle and femininity about your mechanical watch.